How can we really be in our prosperity and have spiritual life? The answer is be in your authentic life. Be in your authentic life. Because as your authentic life, you have everything you need to make your life work. And uh, there's something about your authentic life that is not only spiritual, but you are authentically physical. That truly is your body or pot. Uh, you have you have truly have access to your own body of consciousness. Which, collect, which connects with the larger consciousness of the rest of us. And you, that, that is truly yours. It's authentically your awareness. Enjoy it. Embrace it. And don't allow it to get hung up in the past or so vested in the future that you can't swing with the opportunities. Now, to briefly answer and touch upon the 2012 issue. I fully believe that we are on the cusp of a major change of paradigm, the way we think of the world, the way we connect consciously, and I think that the critical mass of the world is mandating it. I don't think there's any way around it. Uh, but, Personally, I believe that it will be better if we choose it. If we choose it. Instead of holding the idea that this was set in destiny thousands of years ago by people who created a future story. And it has to play out like that future story. Yeshua suggested that there will be a time when something cataclysmically transformational will happen. And the apostles asked him, when will it happen? They wanted to know all the details. Just like, we want to know all the details, right? He wouldn't tell them. He said, not, not only do I not know, even the Father does not know. Now, was he just being evasive with them? No. No. What he was doing is he was keeping them from being locked into a future story that had to turn out only one way. This is the great damage I feel that's been done by the Book of Revelations. The Book of Revelations was a very minor, minor, questionable gospel that was retained when far more important gospels like the Book of Thomas were dismissed. And I don't, I don't want to be one of those people that says, oh, uh, you know, don't listen to the book of Revelations because I think metaphorically it is a powerful truth about the transformation of the soul. But I think it was conveniently opted for by the organized church because it could be an instrument of fear and control. And books that were far more informative and instructional spiritually were banished. So, uh, I think that almost every culture has left, including the Mayan culture, has left us a legacy of fear documents that were future stories that we can choose to live or choose not to live. But that doesn't take away from the truth that somebody saw something up there that is going to take us through a tra major transformation that can have cataclysmic impact on us, depending on how we choose to process it. And personally, I think we're on the edge of it. I don't think we can go much further 